Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so the lighting is not going to be ideal for this video, but the reason I'm making it is because what I usually do is I get something new and I don't put it on on video or yeah, I don't record it. So you guys don't get the benefit of whatever happens and sometimes it's beneficial for you guys, especially guys getting into the knife game early on and uh, these are little tips that can help. I know it could have helped me. Anyway, so let's say you buy a Benchmade knife, right? comes with a lot of little benefits. They're a little overpriced for what you're getting. That is true. But what are you getting? You're getting Live Sharp. I hope I'm, I hope I'm saying that right because there's so many different uh, warranties for different knives and I do get it mixed up because I do have different knives. Anyway, you get a warranty on the knife, right? You purchase the knife and there's a warranty. There's free sharpening, lifetime free sharpening, and there's also replacement parts for the Benchmade. So let's say you bend the spring because you sit down and it gets snagged on the chair or your car seat or your seat belt and, um, and it gets snagged and you have to replace it. So how do you do that? One, you mail it back to Benchmade. Two, you call Benchmade or email them and they'll send you a replacement part. It's really that easy. Now, I've, this is not the first time I've done this, but I wanted to get this down so, uh, like I said, to give people out there just the experience of seeing what's, what happens. All right, so I got this knife. It's a mini grip. Uh, it's not your average mini grip. As you can see, it's a G10 version. I've had other mini grips in the past with the hole, with the sheet foot blade. Um, I've uh, had another one of these, um, but I decided to go with the G10. I had this one for a while, uh, just now getting to really carry it and use it. This, was, it, this has a nice steel that everyone raves about, uh, 20 CV. Obviously, I don't do any heavy cutting. Um, the only thing I use it for is to cut boxes, paper tests, open envelopes. Okay, I got the, the deep carry pocket clip. Now these are very desirable. Everybody wants it, right? Everyone wants that. Everybody wants that knife to disappear in their pocket. Well, I'm not a fan of these pocket clips, and I'll tell you why. It's very small and narrow up here, and I notice that the knife kind of moves around. The other thing is the profile of the knife, or the thickness, is bigger than with your traditional uh, benchmade clip. The other thing about this clip is it's painted, so. But as you start wearing it and rubbing it against things, uh, the paint's going to start chipping off. And it looks ugly, in my opinion. So I prefer the other ones. I forget what they're called now. Probably should have researched it like all my other videos, but I, I never do. So going by the seat of my pants. Flying by the seat of my pants, as they say. Anyway, I'm not a fan of this pocket clip. I think it's too thick. I think this knife is nice and thin. But when you put it in hand, I just it just doesn't feel good to me. So... Email uh, Benchmade told them I needed a new pocket clip for the mini grip. Usually they ask for the model number and it arrived in the mail. So, open it up and here it is. And they included the screws, which is really nice. Now my local knife shop in the area, not, not that close, but the closest one is in Myrtle Valley, which is about, I would say 20, maybe 30 miles away. They will do the service for me but that means I have to drive out there. So, if you don't have an authorized Benchmade dealer or repair place near you, then you can do what I did. So now what I'll be doing is I'll be installing it. Now, since I don't have a tripod and I don't have anyone to hold the camera for me, I will pause the video and then restart it once I come back. Give you a uh, look at the clip. Give you a look at the thickness. Great knife, by the way. But um, anyway. I have the Loctite here, the blue Loctite. I will be putting that on. Normally, if you're not sure you're gonna keep that clip, you might not wanna put Loctite right away. But since I already know that I don't like th these clips, I'm gonna put this one on for good. It will be Loctite. So pause here and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is. After installation of the traditional pocket clip. Or original, I should say. Now, if you can see, the screws are protruding slightly. Which is not uncommon for Benchmates. I've had a 940 and all the screws were coming out through the, through the frame inside. 
but this wasn't the way it was before and I'll show you why. This is the original screw and these are the new screws that were sent to me. Now because I told them I needed a replacement for a Benchmade Mini Grip, they sent me what I believe is a longer screw because on the traditional Mini Grip this is plastic and it's thicker. These G G10 are contoured and the blade is, I'm sorry, the scales are thinner. So, as you can see, this is the one I took off with this clip. And this screw without Loctite and this screw and this screw are slightly shorter, which would have brought this flush with inside. So... That's what we're looking at right now. So if I had cleaned these up, the, the ones from the from this clip, which are full of Loctite, and I didn't want to mess with them, I went ahead and installed these. The blade doesn't touch, so it doesn't interfere with the function. It does not hit the blade, so I'm not worried about it. Who really is going to look inside? I like the way it now sits in my pocket. Excuse me here while I put this on. So you will have some of the, more of the knife showing than before. But uh, I'm okay with that. Also the thickness, I'll show you the thickness. I think the thickness is not as bad. The problem was that before it was way up here, way up here, so it, it, was, it interfered with your hand or the, the comfort. And, Okay, sorry, cut off there. Okay, so that's the uh, end of the story. Happy with the new pocket clip. Thank you, Benchmade. For those of you that have Benchmades, you know you can get replacement parts just by calling or by emailing. Just going to the Benchmade website. All right, guys, thank you. Hope this helps somebody.